Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler and a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 17 wins with three losses. Standing five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Jupiter, Florida, Kurt Batman Pellegrino. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer and a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of eight wins with two losses. Standing six feet tall, weighing in at 156 pounds, fighting out of Stockton, California, Nate Diaz! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Herb Dean. Nate Diaz has won seven of his last eight fights. His last loss all the way in 2006. Sariani needeth here tonight. Broomfield Event Center, Suburban, Denver, Colorado. Ready, let's do it. Tonight's clock sponsored by Subway Restaurants. Subway, eat fresh. Quickly, Diaz comes out. Nate has been waiting for someone that's willing to stand and strike with him. Pellegrino takes him to the ground instantly, and Nate has an excellent guard. Solid Brazilian jiu-jitsu game. But Kurt Pellegrino's got his back here. Diaz, a brown belt in Gracie jiu-jitsu. His longtime trainer, Cesar Gracie. Pellegrino comfortable in that game as well. A black belt in Brazilian jiu-jitsu. Both guys very solid on the ground. Nate is a brown belt under Cesar Gracie. And a brown belt under Cesar Gracie is a black belt under a lot of people. Absolutely. He just earned that belt recently. And he has really been good, Nate Diaz, since winning the Ultimate Fighter, beating the Sun Sal in four minutes and 10 seconds, and then Alvin Robinson in three minutes and 39 seconds. He hasn't been out of the first round. And what we're seeing here is uh, some very technical ground fighting. Both these guys, uh, Nate working uh, very hard on defense, controlling Pellegrino's wrist, making sure he doesn't get a real dominant position or get to uh, a point where he's got his back or anything. And he's ready to roll out of this here. And then Kurt, obviously trying to re retain control. Looks like he's got a darts choke. Nope. He's on top, on top of Nate's half guard, and Nate immediately turns it into full guard. Joe, good start for Kurt Pellegrino. Yeah, um, again, this is a step up for Nate Diaz, but this is what Nate Diaz has wanted. He asked wow, Joe Silva, he asked Joe Silva for some tougher competition. And he's got it. Well, there are so many elite fighters at 155. Pellegrino, one of many. Nate Diaz, just 22 years old. Testing his skills against the 28-year-old from Point Pleasant, New Jersey. Oh, so down bow there. Solid punches from the guard by Pellegrino. Pellegrino trying to pass, but uh, Nate Diaz, uh, again, has an excellent guard. Oh, big right hand by Pellegrino. Kurt and Pellegrino he looks excellent. And all the way to side nice. control. Very nice. Trying to Kurt. finish it early. Oh. Pellegrino just teeing off in side control. And he's got he he is in the trouble. Trouble. He's in big trouble. trouble. The action. We first saw that position with uh, Andre Semenov and Ivan Salivary. Back to half guard, Joe. Kurt passed right through it. And Nate, Nate doing a good job recovering guard. His face is bloodied up, though. There's a lot of blood. See if he can get to that dominant position again. Kurt Pellegrino coming off the win over Alberto Crane. Big elbow by Pellegrino there as well, right in the area that's cut. We can't see how bad the cut is from this angle, but there's blood all over. It's going to be Nate another Diaz's one if he face. keeps beating elbows like that. It looks like it's in his ear and on his eyebrow. And uh, Nate rolling to his... Yeah, Kurt's Diaz got has a lot back. of problems right now. Kurt's got his back, but he's got no hooks in. But he does have over-under control. And he always Trying got hooks. Trying to finish it, Pellegrino. Plenty of time to work. One minute, 50 seconds remains in round one. Nate is in a lot of trouble right he here. He does not look comfortable. He's got great defense. He stays calm. But he's getting beat up here. He's truly in survival mode right here, Joe, isn't he? Pellegrino let that go and tried to switch to a guillotine. Nate defends. His defense is solid, but uh, in that one position, he took a lot of strikes. That position from side control, when a guy's on top of you and has one arm trapped in between your legs and the other one behind his arm, 
is a very dangerous position because you really can't defend your face. And the guy has one arm free to pound on you. Diaz's last loss in a WEC fight in October of 2006 was ironically to Ermi Stronka, who awarded Kirk Pellegrino his Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. Nate back to his feet here. And Nate working to try to get a takedown himself. Lightweights here. Welterweight championship on the line, UFC 83, Sarah versus St. Pierre. Rich Franklin, Travis Luter, Michael Bisping, middleweight it's debut. Work. Tickets sold out, log on to 83.ufc.com. Montreal, Canada, the Bell Center, April 19th. We return to Colorado for the first time since UFC 2 here tonight. And go north of the border for the first time in UFC history in a couple of weeks. Double underhooks here by Nate, he lost it. And he's, he's using the knees good in this position. Good knees to the leg, occasionally to the body. Nate Diaz is a gamer, Joe. We knew that coming in. Oh, him and his brother are both savages. And he's trying to get himself right back into this fight. I know one thing. He has withstood the pressure of Pellegrino in round one. But and we had to round two. Diaz got rocked. Yeah, here's all the damage that Kurt, Kurt Pellegrino landed. Some good right hands from the guard. That cut is on the right eyebrow of Nate Diaz. Southpaw stance. Looking to get right back into this fight. Red trunks for Diaz. Black trunks for Pellegrino. Nate Diaz, winner of the ultimate fighter five. The lightweight winner. He defeated Rob Emerson, Corey Hill, Gray Maynard. And then when Manny Gamburian separated his shoulder, Nate Diaz became the winner. Don't forget, Ultimate Fighter comes back to Spike here tonight. Team Rampage against Team Forrest right after. We are done with our great night of fights. Kurt Pellegrino with the takedown. Very nice. Timed that punch. Shot right underneath it. Into half guard. That was weird. He moved <laughs> He moved into full guard. He did it. I mean, uh, Nate didn't do anything there. That was very strange. Trying to deliver some more elbows. Fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. I wonder if that was an error or a strategy. It seemed like he had that dominant position in half guard. He just decided to... Okay, now he's uh, He had that shot side leg control over. in the first round, Joe, and, and did, did a little bit of damage, but then fell back into half guard. Yeah, and you know what? It's a dangerous guard. Nate Diaz could take his back here if he could shoot under. And he's trying to get a Kimura. This is a bad spot for Kurt Pellegrino. Nate Diaz. Nah, Kurt Pellegrino says not a chance here. But he popped out of it. But Nate does have a dangerous guard, and it's he's very good at recovering it. Pushes him off. And right back down. Pellegrino's Nate, wrestled for 20 years. Nate trying for a guillotine here, but he can't get a hand under. Pellegrino, a grappling record, 93 and 3. And his loss to Joe Stevenson, he suffered a broken hand. But returned with the win over Alberto Crane. And a very gutsy win at that because he was caught by a huge kick very early in the fight. Rocked, big cut, cut through his lip. A, a hole in his face, literally, and went on to win that fight. And win it in dramatic fashion. Nate again trying for that Kimura. And he could also use that to sweep, but he's given his back up again. See if Pellegrino takes him right back down. Uses the momentum to stay on top. Two and a half minutes remains in round two. You know, this is really shaping out to be very, very tactical on the ground. Which you assumed it could be, Joe, with one brown belt under Gracie and a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt as his opponent. Yeah, absolutely. Now, Kurt Pellegrino's got to be careful here. He is starting to tee off. He stays tight, holds onto the leg, taking him for a ride. Brings him down, but he's got to look out for a triangle. He's got to look out for that right leg. If Nate Diaz gets that right leg over, he's got it. He Pulling it down. It. Nate Diaz says he's going to win. So look at double, Nate Diaz. Double fingers and a fully locked and tried. It is all over. Whoa. Nate Diaz by submission. He knew he had it. Outstanding performance by young Nate Diaz. Wow. He knew he had it. Man, and you know, and submitting a guy like Kurt Pellegrino, what a huge feather in Nate Diaz's cap. Let's look at this again. 
The Sega replay. Here's the takedown. Now, and the takedown, those long legs and Nate Diaz, he holds onto the head, and as soon as he gets that right leg over his left and puts that foot in place under the knee, bang, look at that. Double thing, he knew he had it. That's a tight triangle, squeezes, doesn't even pull the head down and finishes it. Here's one more look, and that's beautiful. Look at that, he flexes and gives you double fingers. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, six seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out due to a triangle choke, Nate Dean!